For nearly a month now, Russian opposition leader Vladimir Karamurza has been detained in Russia for speaking out against Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Last month, Russia's parliament passed a, a new law that would jail anyone for spreading what it considers fake news about the war in Ukraine. Karamurza has been a guest on our show, and we spoke with him the day after Russia's invasion. Mr. Putin may well be about to, to stumble into repeating that same mistake. You know, this, this is yet another military adventure uh, of this authoritarian, unelected, unaccountable, and frankly, increasingly deranged dictator in the Kremlin by the name of Vladimir Putin. Joining us now, Yevgenia Karamurza, the wife of Vladimir Karamurza. Yevgenia, thank you very much for being with us. What's the latest you know about your husband's condition? Where is he? Uh, good morning, and thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak out. Vladimir is uh, being held at the pretrial detention center in Moscow, seventh pretrial detention center in Moscow. Uh, his only contact uh, with his lawyer happened through double glass uh, metal bars and on the phone, like in American security street, uh, those that you can see, uh, you know, in American movies. Um, this is also my only contact with my husband through his lawyers. Your husband, an extraordinary man. I mean, he's already survived two poisonings, has seen friends and colleagues imprisoned, disappeared, killed in Russia. What drove him to speak out? Well, Vladimir has never kept quiet about the atrocities of Putin's regime, both within Russia and outside. And uh, he has always believed that a bully who starts by bullying his own country, a dictator, or always begins with his uh, with repression against his own population and then moves forward. Um, so uh, Vladimir has always believed that uh, Vladimir Putin, um, if left unchecked, would uh, continue aggression, his aggression uh, towards other countries. You know, right before his arrest, your husband was speaking about the struggles the Russian military was having, as well as the suffering of the Ukrainian people. What is your sense of, of what people inside Russia are being told and what they actually know about what's going on in Ukraine? Uh, well, of course, my campaign now is, uh, you know, most important for the release of my husband, but Vladimir would never allow me to make this about him only. Uh, he's always spoken on behalf of our political business in Russia, and he's always uh, spoken about Russian society being uh, deprived of objective information um, because Putin's propaganda machine has been working relentlessly for over two decades to create this warped image of reality for the Russian population. So uh, a big part of the population that relies on state TV for, as the main source of information, uh, has not had access to one single independent TV channel for years. As, uh, other, um, uh, as far as other independent media outlets are concerned, most of them, well, all of them, actually, have been blocked by the Russian authorities since the beginning of the war. Many journalists, a countless number of journalists, were forced to leave the country and are now uh, continuing their work from outside, trying to spread information uh, to, uh, about uh, Putin's army's atrocities in Ukraine. But the problem is access to this information is very limited for the Russian population, even that part of the population that seeks access to independent information. Uh, there are ways to um, circumvent the, the blockade by the Russian authorities by, for example, installing a VPN service. But it seems that free um, VPN services do not work very well. They're not very reliable. And those that you can pay for, well, you need to have Apple Pay to be able to pay for them. But unfortunately, Apple Pay doesn't work in Russia anymore. So we need to yeah. find ways to provide the Russian population with objective information about what's happening in Ukraine. And that is a very yeah. urgent task that we need to address. It is indeed. Yevgenia Karamusa, thank you very much for, for being with us. And I once, once again want to underline the importance that we remember what is happening to Vladimir Karamurza and that he is currently in, in the hands of the Russian uh, government. Thank you for, for being with us.